we are camping in Fruta, Colorado. Fruta is a mountain bike destination in western Colorado. It is nestled at the base of the Book Cliff mountain range and it's known for its steep uh, descents and punchy little uphills on almost sand dune-esque terrain. Uh, the cool part about Fruta is that there are campgrounds kind of nestled in among all of the mountain bike trails. So you can set up this base camp and go out for an hour ride, come back, have a snack, grab your four-year-old, go riding again. And it just allows for the perfect family camping trip. We've had a fun three generational camping trip this weekend. Uh, Chris and I came down with our two sons, Hudson and Forrest. Hudson is four. Forrest is just shy of nine months old. And Chris's mom, Jean Ray, joined us as well. And it has been perfect. A little hot, but perfect. Lately, there's been a lot of interest in overlanding and really these trips aimed at getting as far away from people and civilization as you possibly can, which is wonderful. And we've loved that kind of camping, just to escape and have an adventure and have it be about the journey itself. And once you have kids, that can get a little bit more complicated. Uh, the beautiful part about this trailer is that not only can it handle that type of camping, overlanding and really rugged terrain, but it can also serve as the perfect base camp for a family camping trip in an established campground. And with kids, that is really convenient. We still have the outdoors. We're still spending more time together than we would at home. Um, but we don't have to get quite as extreme. The longer that I've camped in a teardrop trailer, uh, the more I keep adding things to it. And there's always a case to be made for simple is better. Um, and I've been on that side of it for a long time. This trip, however, is probably the first time that I've been very glad that I had an air conditioner on the trailer. Uh, we're camping with our nine month old. It is a really warm weekend. He is still napping twice a day. He took a three hour nap in the trailer and I had the AC on and it was truly the only way that that was gonna be possible. It was just way too hot for him to be able to nap otherwise. The other beautiful part about this trailer, and this is true for all Topo 2 Voyager models, is that they have an onboard uh, water heater and 20 gallons of water. And that has just made life really simple at camp. Uh, not to mention a sink, but once you get the water up to temperature, there's just a reserve of warm water on board whenever you need it. And if I need to make a bottle in the middle of the night for my son, I have hot water instantly. The other piece is the sink, um, just to be able to do dishes and not need to make a massive production out of it allows me to really quickly get back to being with the family. I can do dishes or Chris can do dishes and they're done and we get back to camping, playing in the sand, riding our bikes and having a good time. So Africa is a big free place with big people and never get lost. With if you get along, just yell for help. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>